I'm the wa worst blinker. So I'm gonna show you guys how to dry your own herbs because when I go to the supermarket, I get a big old bouquet. At most I use two tablespoons and I throw it in my fridge and it gets all moldy and it's wasteful. So why not use all of it because you paid for it? So a very common herb that I like to use is basil and I'm sick of pesto. If one more person tells me to make pesto with basil, I'm going to lose it. So this is a great way to utilize basil in a different form. So first off, I washed these already, just keeping them nice and fresh. And I'm gonna take off the leaves and place them on a paper towel in a microwave safe plate. It's really important that you dry out your herbs. Otherwise, when you put them in the microwave, they're just gonna steam and they're not gonna dry out. They're just gonna get soggy and wet and gross and sad. I love doing this in a microwave because it's so fast and that means all the nutrients are still inside the leaves and it tastes nice and green, unlike the herbs that you get from those little jars from the supermarket. You wanna microwave this on two minutes at most and then you wanna check and microwave every 30 second interval. If you don't check and they're too high, since these leaves are so delicate and there's such a wide surface area, it might catch on fire. Like legitimately, there's a fire in your microwave and you don't want that. With that said, let's go to the microwave. I'm coming back because I forgot it. <laughs> We're gonna start with the microwave, but make sure you get a nice little safety blanket for your basil leaves. Come on, let's go. Coming. like 30 seconds, no, like five seconds more. Actually, no, 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 it's ready. It's ready? Yep. Okay, just walk back over to uh, our workstation then. So these are nice and dry, but they're still slightly warm. So I'm gonna place them on a cooling rack with all the other herbs that I made. They do shrink a little in size. So I'm gonna let these dry out a little more, but I have some basil already done. I'm gonna take my little spice jar that I labeled basil so I won't forget, and I'm just gonna crush it directly into the jar. You can rip this into whatever size you like. I like to rip them into larger pieces because I like to have them sprinkled onto my food and it still looks like fresh herbs, even though it's not. I have a mixture of mint here, oregano, rosemary, you can do parsley, cilantro, even chives. When you tear them, it's like you smell fresh herbs but more concentrated. After you're done, you can close them up in a jar, take a whiff, because it's really strong and it's really good. And you know the difference between these herbs and the one you get from the supermarket? These I made in the last two minutes, and those have been sitting on the shelf for at least a year. That's why they're not bright green, and they don't smell like anything. Well, I'm gonna go make myself a nice meal with my fresh dried herbs. Oxymoron, maybe but it is what it is. I can't actually wink. I'm just blinking really hard. I'm the worst blinker.